check out the comic outlaw on YouTube and yeah let's get started and we're doing the savage she-hulk yes I'm bringing it back one of my favorite characters that I think deserves a spotlight and this is Jen versus she-hulk yes yeah, she's having anger issues and who is gonna win control over the body will it be Jen or will it be the savage she-hulk as she faces off against the power of the word now a lot of these comments have to do with uh, legal stuff so we're gonna kind of back up when we have to do a little speech on who's this who's that and uh, we're gonna be dropping this for you right now and of course it starts off after she got back from Vegas seeing that guy worry who's kind of the sidekick to man thing if you don't know who that is or watch my previous video man thinks this huge swamp creature she got into a huge rumble with very cool gotta love a good fight Anyways, getting back with her friend Zapper, Zapper's kind of just making fun of her a little bit, saying that Worry's kind of a little bit of a loser, he's going to probably lose all the money, and she just starts getting a little angry, and uh, just barely, you know, anything at all, and she's losing her temper, and She-Hulk is just starting to take over, and she kind of goes for Worry, or I mean, she kind of goes for Zapper, you know, because she's angry about Rory, and then uh, she kind of tears off the, the Jeep. She starts going to war with it, and basically he's just trying to hurry to get her home. You know, knowing it's getting worse, he also stopped a blood sample off of UCLA for examination. Well, I will come back to that later. She answers the phone, and this, is, this attorney is kind of her rival, and he's dropping a case to her, and he doesn't really suspect anything because her voice is guff, but it's still her. And she kind of yells at him, gives him the business, you know. And later on, she's realizing that she's having trouble controlling her anger and controlling the transformation and something's going to have to be done about it. What is to be done, she doesn't know yet. And of course, Zapper's going over the blood sets and samples and uh, he realizes he has to go to a lab guarded by military. And as he goes in there, he'll speak to the scientist, the one in charge of the examination. But we'll find out who that is later. Now, Jen meets his family and they explain her son was kind of a bum. And then he became a member of this cult, the word, and they've kind of kidnapped him. They've taken him in their own. They won't let him answer the phone. They've essentially put him in servitude. And they would like Jen to pass the word on or at least try to get him out. The DA kind of, or this guy, whatever his name is, he kind of just dumped it in her lap in order to just take over after he words, you know, and pick up the pieces, which that makes her extremely mad, but she's trying to control her emotions. She's really trying to control She-Hulk. Now as Zapper makes his way uh, to the lab, he is visited by one of the most foremost blood experts who has ever lived. His name is Michael Morbius. Yes, Morbius. If you don't know, he's a Spider-Man villain who becomes the living vampire. And he's examining the blood and saying that if his friend may die from the blood disease. So dun dun dun. So as Jen is doing research into this group, this cult called the Word, it's led by a charismatic, like a like a very charismatic man. Uh, basically sitting there in a suit going over all his followers words ideas and he kind of runs this group with an iron fist and everyone's just mesmerized by the way he talks and this is indicative of a lot of religious leaders speakers politicians you know they just have a way of hooking you in and she starts to realize that this cult there's a little more to it than that and he the leader introduces his daughter, who he says is one of the strongest women in the world, who is a complete servitude to his word, and is by far an extension of his power. Now, she's been conditioned as a little girl, brought up in his beliefs, teachings, always working out, always studying, and she's able to just lift his car with ease. No problem at all. She is super, super strong. Now let's not take out the possibility that she could be a mutant. I'm not saying she is, but she could be. And uh, of course, Jen finds the guy. She delivers the note saying her parents want to talk to him. You know, she 
surprises them. She claims that she's cheating or that she's with him and that she, he's cheating with her. She gets angry and she grabs Jen, about to drag her out. And she turns into She-Hulk and she just wrecks her. I mean, this woman's strong, but She-Hulk's in the class all by herself. Just knocks her over. But she had got her document signed. She was able to whoop a little butt. So basically she got everything done on her list. She jumps over the fence and takes off. With this girl kind of vowing revenge. So will there be a round two? We'll find out. But so far Jen has got everything she needed. The piece of paper signed. And of course She-Hulk putting it on the line. So we'll find out what's going on next. And as always I'll catch you on the flip side. Laters.